audience. It's Patty from Solon TV. We're here at El Rey Theater off Wilshire in Los Angeles. And we are giving a lot of love to Marvin. He's a friend of ours, family member, and he's also our cameraman for Solon TV. He is having his Tattoo Stories release party tonight. It's going to be insane. We have Chester Bennington from Lincoln Park. He's in the Ford. It's awesome. And we're expecting about 1,500 people tonight. We have four bands performing and a silent auction. It's going to be a great time. Everyone's come out here for uh, the Starlet Children's Foundation. Yo, what's up? This is Rick Thorne, the Biker in Black with Famous Stars and Straps. You're watching Soul on TV. Yeah! Johnny Cisneros, which is actually in the book, Tattoo Stories. It's still on TV. I'm here with Rick Thorne, the good guys in black. I'm here with Doug, lead singer of Hoobastank. He is out showing some love for the book release of Tattoo Stories. Hey, it's Cotty from Soul on TV. Marvin's back, of course, promoting Tattoo Stories, and Chester from Lincoln Park. I know you've been working hard in the studio. Marvin was letting us know. And, um, of course, you guys are huge. I mean, Transformers album, you guys got a lot of things going on. Um, well known around here. So I read your forward for Tattoo Stories, and it's incredible. I mean, you pretty much explain what the profiles are going to mean. You know, people that look completely normal, and 85% of their body could be covered in ink, and it's a way of expression. That's really important. So why is it important for you to be here? Uh, it's important for me to be here uh, to support uh, Children Starlight Foundation um, and the book, of course. And, uh, and uh, I know he's put a lot of work into the book. And, and um, so really excited it's coming out. And of course, it's, you know, anything that can create, you know, um, uh, something to, for people to give back and a way for people to get involved, especially in a fun, creative way, I think it's really great. And uh, Children's Starlight Foundation helps a lot of people, and I think it's a really important new cause. Um, so, you know, combining those two things together, you know, with with the tattooed lifestyle, and and I think it's a, also a great way to show that, you know, um, I think that the the tattoo culture is so diverse nowadays that you know it's great for people to also see that you know um, that it's that our our culture has a lot of people who are willing to do something really cool and be a part of something that gives back and. Um, so that's what brings me here. No, but it's exciting. I mean, it's exactly what you said in your forward, you know. It was those people that look rebellious, they look like they're anarchy, and they, you know, get this bad name, this, you know, infamous kind of profile by having ink. And, you know, lo and behold, Tattoo Stories has proven that anyone, I mean, there's a 36-year-old mom in there that you would, looking at her, would never, you know, figure out that she has half her back done. And it's so important for people to know. It's a lot more acceptable now. So. Marvin, what's important for you to have Chester on board, and, and why are you excited tonight? Well, you know, getting Chester on board with us was, was huge. Um, Club Tattoo has been a huge part of this night, and, you know, Club Tattoo has just been, you know, amazing. Their artists, um, everything that they've done for us, Sean and Thora and Chester, have just been an amazing part of this, not only this book, this night, and where we're going, and, you know, it's just been, it's been really great. And, you know, like I said before in our earlier interview, you know, so many people see Chester Bennington as this this major rock star, and he really and he is no, he is in, in all rights. He is he's justifiably earned his that right. But the the night the afternoon that Chester and I sat down and we did the you know the he wrote the board, by far the most caring, giving, open, and oh, yeah. humble individual that I've ever met. No, 100 percent agree with you. I can never thank this guy enough, and you know to have him a part of this book has been huge and. Um, you know, like he said, we're, we're trying to break the stereotypical exactly. kind of, you know, idea that tattoos are rebellious. Kind of like what he says in his, you know, in his intro. You know, people were kind of pigeonholed and put into a, uh, an idea of being, you know, negative when in fact, we're just normal people. It's all we are, you know. Whether you're a major rock star, a photographer, or, you know, somebody who's a hostess, a hostess <laughs> or walking down the street, you know, right. exactly, yeah, you know? Exactly, yeah. there's, there's all walks of life that right. are doing that, you know, yeah. and they all and share kind of the same love, exactly, and you know, so we're excited to make this part of the book, and, uh, you know, we're just, 
we're just so stoked to make this happen. You know, this is a huge night for us, and uh, you know, I can't thank Chester enough for coming out. And, you know, I know he's amazing. So Chester, what's up for Lincoln Park? Um, what are we expecting? Of course, soul and audience and the fans want to know what's you know in store. We, uh, we've been in the studio and uh, we've been working hard on a new album and, and uh, it's turned out it's turning out really really good and um, we're looking to release probably you know around September ish. That's our that's our goal. Yeah, so it'll be out this year and uh, and um, hopefully people are as excited about it as the band is. We're really we're really pushing ourselves. On this side. You guys are solid again. Lincoln Park, I mean, household name. Marvin, it's incredible for the Solon family to see you out here tonight. Tattoo Stories, wonderful cause. Starlight Children's Foundation. Um, gentlemen, thank you very much. And that's uh, Scotty with Solon TV.